Happy 4th of July, everyone. This is Maddie Ice here with Thunder. And today, Thunder and I are going to be showing you how to make Thunder's Celebration Shortcakes. These are a real treat. So this is a variation on the classic. And so, in the get in the video. That's right, you're gonna be in the video. You're gonna help. Yeah. So these are a variation on your shortcake that's got whipped cream, berries, and then we have a surprise for the end. So what you will need, shortcake. These are the dessert cups. These are the small ones. You could also use large ones. You could use biscuits. You could probably even use like a pancake or something like that. Just something to act as a vessel to hold everything else. You will also need fruit. We are doing blueberries and strawberries. And whipped cream. That's right. We made our own whipped cream. If you want to make your own whipped cream, it's actually easy and it's so much better in this recipe if you make your own. You just need a cup of heavy cream, three tablespoons of granulated sugar, and then uh, you basically just whip it up and then add a little vanilla if you like. You could flavor it to be something else as well or put food coloring in it to make it more festive. And there's blueberries! That's right, we got big blueberries. And there's strawberries! And our secret ingredient is... Granola! Yeah, we made and our own so granola. And we can make this. You and look so pretty. It's Minnie and Daisy. <laughs> you look so pretty, darling. Okay, so first step, we have our whipped cream. We've whipped it and it's sat and it's chilled for a while so it's nice and thick. Uh, what we will do now is actually put it into a bag so that we can pipe it. So we put all of our whipped cream into a Ziploc bag. I don't have any piping bags, so you can cut the corner off of this and you've got yourself a piping bag. All right, let's open our cake shells. Uh, we're going to make these two ways. We're going to make individual ones, and we're also going to make the stacked high 4th of July one. All right. Can you get one of these cakes and put it on here? Yeah. There we go. All right. So first things first, we need to put whipped cream on. Now, if you don't plan to use the piping bag, you can just use a spoon. As you can see, these have a little divot in them, and you would just put a little whipped cream right in the middle. All right. And I think that looks like a nice little amount. Let's put a tiny bit more in there so we get a nice amount of cream. And so it's good. And then here's what you have, guys. We'll have a little cream in the middle. And now we get to decorate it. So we'll, we'll need a, a big strawberry in the middle. There, let's, there we go. And then let's put a couple blueberries on it, too. Yeah, just like that. You want to put a couple more? There's happy face. I uh, kind of. Yeah. All right. You got a couple more. One, two, three. Okay, guys. Here's what we've got so far. Nice strawberry in the center. And we've got blueberries around the edge. Now we've got to put on our secret ingredient. <laughs> granola. All right. Grab a little bit and sprinkle it on top. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more. Okay, okay, and at this point we've got a pretty tasty looking dessert. Look at that guys We've got blueberries a strawberry in the middle some granola We've got that cake and that's a pretty easy dessert You could freeze these and probably have these ready in advance. You could put these in a mason and jar you, get in the bush. you could make these in plastic cups for a party and then um, cut up the cake There's really a lot of ways to go about these but this is kind of our twist putting that granola on there. So they look pretty good. Let's set that one aside and let's make another one. All right, this one we'll try piping in the whipped cream. We'll cut off the corner of our order. bag. All right, cut off the corner. And as you can see, it just slowly squirts out of there. We'll put it in nice and slow. And he put the blueberries on them, okay? All right. And so he put the blueberries on them, and there's strawberries on them, and he put the happy face. You want to do a happy face? All right. And then there's our happy face. How about that, guys? That was a great idea, Thunder. 
How about we put a little of this on here and watch this. Here we go. Look, he's got hair now. All right, so we made a little happy face. It's got hair and blueberry eyes and a smile. What a nice treat. All right, now let's build a tower. How about that? Oh, how about that? For the main event, we are making- we're making the castle. We are making the castle, the stacked high on the 4th of July. So for this one, we're gonna need four of these. There's one, and we're gonna put our cream on. I wanna do it. Yep, go ahead, help. You can squeeze. Too hard, too hard, too hard, too hard, too hard. Okay, that's good. Now on this layer, we're gonna do blueberries, okay? Some blueberries, happy. Yep. Stack the blueberries in there. There you go. Castles. We'll put the blueberries in there. There's a small oh. one. All right, that should be good for blueberries. And we'll put a tiny little bit of our granola in there. Let's put strawberries. That'll be the next layer, you're right. So the next layer, we will stack. So you'll start building like a little castle, as you can see. And then we will put in some more cream. Uh, there we go. We got the cream. Now go ahead and, and put your strawberry in there. <laughs> Whoop, we dropped it. There we go. All right, so we will go around the edge with our strawberries and make and like a little strawberry fence. We'll get blueberries on the next story. Not on this one, baby. Mm. All right, so now we've got our strawberries. All right, a little bit of more granola on here. Now we've got our strawberry layer, as you can see, and then the first one was blueberries. Next layer, we'll stack this on here and try and be careful so it doesn't fall over. I will put on some more cream. On this layer, we are going to do granola first to change things up. Now, what do you want to put on? Do you want to do blueberries or strawberries or both? Both. Okay. How about you get... Um, strawberries. That's that's good. These are little cut pieces, see? I want to cut them. Yeah, you can put them on there. Oh, ooh. That's one oh, thing. Tasty. So now we've got a third layer and man, this thing's starting to get pretty big. Last layer. We are going to do one more crust. This time we are going to mix. put some more granola and we're going to put it on the bottom. I will squeeze the cream on there. I want creams. All right. What goes on the top layer? Do you want a strawberry or blueberries or both? Oh, both. All right, let's get one big strawberry oh, I get and those. put it on top of the castle and then you can do some blueberries around the edges. How about that? I got more of those. All right, go ahead and stick them around the edges. And so he make a castle right there. And so as you get older and wash it off and it's so you got wood cream. It's just, just fine. All right, guys, and here's that top layer of the castle. Look at that. We've got our peak and then the blueberries and then stuff. So each layer is different. So this is, if you want to make your own Thunder Celebration shortcakes, and this is the stacked high on the 4th of July version. And you're watching this. <laughs> you're trying to sign off for me already? Yeah. Oh my God. We're not done yet. All right, so most important part. We've got to try one. We're gonna try the first one that we made. And Thunder, since it's your cake, you'll get to tell me how it is. Go ahead and eat it. Ah. How is it? Good. Oh, it's good. I'm gonna try a piece of strawberry with the whipped cream. All right, so I've got strawberry with granola. Oh, that is good. Very tasty. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. We will catch you next time. And as always, have a good night. Have a good night.